you do concerning your brother. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, yeah. yeah. Am I here to judge? I condemn you. No, I'm not. But you will know the tree by the fruit in there. Are you producing good fruit? Yes. Yeah. Or are you producing that raunchy fruit? Yeah. Can anybody come and pluck something off you and eat it and be satisfied? All right. Can they get anything from the air that you're giving off? Or are you giving off that Lord have mercy? I watched a video the other day that one of my nieces was watching. And they were uh, videotaping a building that was on fire. And the same scripture that we just got to reading in James, the person that was videotaping it was calling on God and cussing at the same time. I mean, right behind one another. I'm like, something ain't right about this picture now. How you gonna ask Jesus to help and then turn around and whoop, 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 whoop? Because that's what's in there. Whatever is in you is going to manifest out of you. And the Lord will put you with people. If that person on your job is getting on your nerve, guess what? Something in you. When God puts you in a place, and I say God, because sometimes we put ourselves in places and we have God's name on it. Amen. But when He calls you, you know when you've been called to an area. Yes. Stay in your lane. Don't go getting in somebody else's lane. Amen. Because He anointed you for the lane He called you to drive in. Can I hear an amen? Amen. You got to know where you called. Amen. Amen. See, the Lord loves you enough, just like He did Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. He loves them enough to be late. Sometimes the Lord will be late in our situation to us. But he ain't never late because he got time in his hands. Yeah. Yeah. But he's trying to teach us. Don't look with your natural eye. Rather yet, look with the eye of the Spirit. Because when you do, he will show you something. He will give you the answer. The answer is in him. Yeah. But our mind, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 6, I love that scripture because if you don't cast down imagination, the enemy will have you tossing and turning all night long when he promised you sweet sleep. The children of God, he promised you sweet sleep. So when everything around you is falling down, you should be able to get in your bed and go to sleep. Because the great I am said I will cause your sleep to be sweet. Yeah. But you gotta take authority over your mind. But though we walk in the flesh, we war not out of the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God to the pulling down the stronghold. You gotta cast down your images, your imagination. Because when you cast them down, you make it be obedient to the word of God. And then you can bring your thought into captivity and make it obey the word of God. But you gotta first take it captive. Proverbs 4, 23. The word that we learn every day is the truth that we walk out every day. Therefore, that word sets you free. Can I hear an amen? amen. It's the word that you live out. Just because you read it and you ain't doing it, to him that knows to do good and do it and not to him, it is what?
And if you go read it, you'll find out that I'm not just telling you something. Right. I'm telling you what the Word of God says. All right. Proverbs 4, 23. Above all else, guard your heart. For it is the wellspring of life. Put away perversity from your mouth. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Make level paths for your feet. And take only the way that are firm. Guard your heart. See, that's not only keeping bad things out, but it's keeping the word of God. Oh, you ain't gonna 
got no new outfit and put on old back on no new outfit. Because then you're going to be looking conscious. <laughs> you don't want to look like that. Come on now. If he does, he will have a torn, have torn the new garment and the back from the new will not match the old one. And no one pours new wine into old wine skin. If he does, the new wine will burst the skin. And the wine will run out and wine skin will be ruined. In essence, you got to get empty before you can be filled. Amen. If you keep asking the Lord to fill you and you ain't feeling the Lord, <laughs> get before the Lord. I dare you. I challenge you to pray. Lord, mm -hmm. show me me. All right. Amen. Anybody ever prayed that before? Amen. Mm -hmm. You better add this to it. And Lord, prepare my heart for what you're getting ready to show me. Because yeah. there's some stuff in us that we don't even have a clue. But when the Holy Spirit shines His light on our heart and begins to reveal yeah. those things to us, y'all, He reveals to Him. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that you can be a vessel fit for the Master's yeah. Jesus. Other than that, you're a crackpot. Wherever you go, Amen. you're licking on people. Oh.